evening, everyone. I hope you all are doing well today. Uh, I'm back with another recipe. I'm going to make a sweet potato loaf. So what I have done, I've already added one cup of mashed sweet potato. Make sure the cup is full and it's packed. Also, I've added one cup of milk, two eggs, and I'm gonna be adding one third cup of melted butter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna blend all this up together real good. And then I'm gonna add uh, some more ingredients to it. And I'll be back. So now that I have this beaten up already, I'm going to add some nutmeg. And right here I have a teaspoon, but I'm just going to add one, uh, I guess you could say one eighth, but not much. Very little nutmeg because it's real strong. I'm going to add three teaspoons of cinnamon. That's one. That's two, that's three. Also, I will be adding one teaspoon of ground ginger. So I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, that's one teaspoon. So now I'm gonna just beat that in real good. And like I said, make sure you just blend it in real well. So I have beaten that real well. Next, I'm going to be adding a pack of yellow cake mix. You can use the butter recipe. I'm going to mix this real good. And this is another easy recipe. And you might want to do this for the holidays. Thanksgiving is coming soon, so we want to get started, you know, looking for recipes or trying to plan what we're going to bake or cook. As you can see, guys, I'm still using my hand mixer, my real mixer. <laughs> Still haven't pulled the electric mixes out. But anyway, make sure you mix it up real good. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it into a loaf pan. So I'll be back. And if you wanna add a little brown sugar to it, you can. But because I didn't use flour and I used the cake mix, it has pretty much all the stuff in it, so. What I'm gonna do now is just put this in the loaf pan. See, this is very thick. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And I'm gonna bake it for about 35, 40 minutes. And I'll let you see how it looks. So I got it all in the pan, so I'm gonna smooth it out. And we'll be back after it bakes. So I'm back. This is the results of this sweet potato loaf. Uh, you can bake it in a bundt pan if you like, or you can bake it two layers. It's really a cake, but I call it a loaf because I put it in a loaf pan. And it ended up baking about 45, 50 minutes. So it came out really good. What I'm gonna do is make a icing for it and probably put some nuts on top of it. So just keep watching, I'll be back. So I'm just gonna put some icing on this cake right here. I have maybe a third cup of confectioner's sugar. I just put like a fourth of teaspoon of cinnamon. You don't have to add cinnamon, you can just leave it like it is. 
and just a drop or two of vanilla extract. So I'm just gonna put this as an icing. And if you wanna leave this plain, you can just leave it plain. You don't have to even ice the cake. But I just want to put a little icing on top. Also, I'm gonna sprinkle some chopped pecans on it. I have like one third cup. And I'm gonna put that on here. But this is really like a cake, sweet potato cake. I just baked it in the loaf pan. And like I say, if you wanna use it for the holidays, give it a try. And these are the nuts that I'm gonna add to it. You don't have to add nuts, you can add raisins, you know, whatever your choice, walnuts, uh, almonds, just whatever you like. If you want to leave it plain, you can do that too. So like I say, whenever you get time, this would be a great cake. And what I'm going to do now is just slice the cake and let you see how it looks on the inside. That is the texture, that, that's how it came out. So like I said, whenever you get time, try this cake. I believe that you'll enjoy it if you like sweet potatoes. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next videos and you be blessed. Thanks.